Good morning, folks. As Mercury leaves Soho's view to the left and Jupiter continues coming in, we've got a sun-diving comet coming in on the Kreutz line. As it approached yesterday, all of your disaster prediction apps rang out as an M-class solar flare erupted from the incoming active region. Due to the position of the eruption, the CME shockwave is not heading at Earth, but it does represent a continuation of activity at this incoming region. The solar flare flashed bright in the X-ray spectrum, and again, it did indeed hit M level and produced a minor radio blackout over the Pacific Ocean. It was indeed just as the comet broke apart and fell to the corona, the eruption took place immediately thereafter, and as you can see, it is heading left and away from Earth. The plasma filaments are also presenting an interesting eruption threat. Largest one in position is coming over the northeastern limb. These can be just as eruptive as sunspots, and so we'll be watching all the thin dark ropes across the disk as the sunspot group turns in itself as well. The solar wind at Earth is still relatively calm after most of the southern stream missed Earth. The next coronal hole is facing Earth today and should hit Earth with its solar stream by Monday night or Tuesday, while lithospheric connections begin now and will continue until that stream arrives. Top news today starts with merging galaxies. While the Sagittarius Dwarf merger with our galaxy is detectable, it's not exactly visibly discernible from here on the ground. However, NGC 2623 is a different story, and it is always amazing to see how these cosmic do -si dos do in space. Hubble's famous shot here with high formation seen even to the outskirts of the arms. We also have a fascinating article on efficient gamma production, that had my imagination picturing cosmic jets literally the entire time I was reading the article. Folks, we are less than four months from observing the Frontier 2018. We're well over half full up, and so is the venue hotel. I'd love to shake your hand in February out in the desert. Remember, today is the last giveaway of tickets. You have your chance at our Facebook page by winning today's question of the week and getting entered into a drawing with the other folks who got right answers in past weeks. As we do every year on this day, website membership is cut by a third, so today is the day to sign up at suspiciousobservers.org. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the world's wind maps coming up, null school, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.